In the heart of Texas, where the winds dance with the tumbleweeds and dreams are as vast as the open sky, Bill's Bumble Rooski's story began. As a kid in rural Texas, his backyard, a makeshift gridiron, was where Bill loves for football took root. But Bill wasn't your typical quarterback prospect. Standing at just 5'11", with the build more akin to a fullback, he was in an unpolished gym in a field of polished stone. But Great Plains High School, an institution more familiar with underdog stories than national titles, but Kane's Bill unexpected home. Dawn in the morning, and gold, Bill faced new challenges. His dyslexia made playbook study an uphill battle, and his first year was spent in the shadows, red shirting and honoring his craft under the stadium lights. But Bill's break came in his junior season. A string of injuries to the starting lineup opened the door for Bill. With his unconventional prowess, he stepped in that season and took your prayer dogs to an unlikely bowl game. And off the field, Bill was just another student, but under the stadium lights, he was a maestro of the greared iron. Each play was a story in itself, a dance with destiny where every stumble could lead to a stride. With enough being said, in Bill's first senior year game, he got player of the game and absolutely went nuts. With getting interest offers in Tulsa, UTSA, in Utah. On the next game and after Bill Bumbarewski absolutely went insane the first game he was on campus and I mean everyone's like Billy, Billy, Billy I love you man. Thank you for bringing finally a great quarterback to Great Plains High School. And with Bill being a quiet guy he kind of just waved his hand and waved him off and said yeah, yeah that's what I'm supposed to do. For Bill Bumbarewski each game was a testament to his resilience. Against the odds Bill plays was often chaotic had moments of brilliance it was during the game against their rivals, Laporte, that Bill's legend status began to take place. But after that big hit, Coach was upset with that offensive line. But on second and 11, Bill was sitting in the pocket, and he did an unbelievable rollout and threw it to his tight end, and the tight end gave all praises to the most high. But on first and 10, Bill Bumbarewski threw that pass all the way down the field, and the tight end could and he would go all the way for six, and he was absolutely fired up. But as you can see, Bill Bumbarewski's player the game with seven total TDs and finally picks up his first offer from UTSA. After receiving an offer from the University of Texas at San Antonio following his second game and being rated as a two-star recruit, Bill Blumberuski found himself at the crossroads. This moment for Bill was more than just an acknowledgement of his potential. It was a validation of his unorthodox journey in football. Bill, known for his unique blend of raw talent and erratic play, had always carried an underdog mentality and this opportunity presented a glimpse into a future he had only dared to dream about. Twice Bill, growing reputation as a quarterback who could turn any play into electric fine play, Bill remained grounded. He knew his style wasn't traditionally appealing on top tier college programs which often look for more polished players. Being recognized as a two-star recruit and receiving an offer from a respectable program like UTSA was an affirmation of his hard work and a testament to his resilience on the field. Mr. Blumberuski did not give up. He got player of the game with six total TDs and picks up offers from Texas Texas, Notre Dame, Alabama, and Arizona State. After Bill's Blumberuski's offer started to flow in, Bill began to dedicate more time to his studies, seeking help where needed. He attended tutoring sessions, worked closely with his teachers, and started to balance his time more efficiently between football and academics. This period was a significant growth for Bill. As he started to understand the value of education and shaping his future, his teammates noticed the change in him too. The same perseverance and resilience he showed in games were not evident in his approach to his studies. Bill was taking over high school football as he gets player the game with seven total TDs and picks up another scholarship offer from UCLA. What a day to be alive. Going into our next game against TC High School, it's time for Bill Bumbarewski to become the number one player in the nation. And as you can see on first and goal, Bill will take it in for six and he was absolutely fired up with his teammate and he said, I'm going to take over. But on second and 14, as you can see, Bill Bumbarewski will roll out of that pocket, throw a pass deep and he will catch it and he could and he would go all the way to the crib but as you can see on first and 10 bill was sitting in that pocket he's not scared to sit in the pocket and absolutely take a hit so he threw another dot and i think we have the best defense in the nation but on first and goal bill bumbarewski bounces it outside and goes in with another rushing td but as you can see on second and 10 he was sitting in that pocket ready to strike a dot 
dot and he throws a dot to the running back but as you can see we go on and win another game bill gets player of the game again with six total tds and picks up another offer from washington on to our next game as bill blumberuski geared up for his sixth game against caddy high school his status had evolved dramatically he was no longer just an unpredictable quarterback with the knack of turning chaos into a touchdown bill was now the centerpiece of his high school a shining star whose gravitational pull was felt both on and off the field. His transformation wasn't limited to the gridiron. Academically, Bill had made remarkable strides from the student who once struggled to meet the academic standards of top football programs. Bill had became a model of being a scholar. I mean, maintaining a 3.0 GPA, this academic turnaround was a source of pride for his coaches, teachers, and especially his parents, who saw their son embrace the role of a student athlete with full commitment. This game right here only being the six games, Bill Blumberuski rise was incredible. He is now a five-star recruit, a status that will put him on the radar of every major college football program in the country. With Bill being so humble, we're up 42 to zero. He said, coach, do not take me out of the game. I want to run the score up. He gets player the game with seven total TDs and picks up a crazy offer from TCU. On to our next game. Game seven was not just another game. It was a defining moment for Bill Blumberuski and his team. The opponent, Deer Park High School, was known for his robust defense and strategic gameplay. This game was billed as a clash of titans, a true test of metal for the now re-owned Bumbaruski. Bill is now the legend at his high school, but as you can see on first and 10, he rolls out of that pocket and he will go in for six early on. And he was hype. He said, yes, sir. Y'all boys gonna feel me. He gives the ball to Alex Howell for a four yard TD run. But on first and 10, we're up 35 to six. And as you can see, I roll out of the pocket and every time they just, the defense gives up and I just throw a dot. But as you can see, sitting in the pocket on first and 10, I run it right up the middle and could go in for six. And I said, what are they doing? out there. I mean, Bill Blumberuski is just taking over, but I'm not going to lie. I don't think that defense liked it at all. They came and sacked me, but I get player to game. Six total TDs and an offer from Wake Forest. Bill Blumberuski takes GP High School to the playoff since 1967, and this is crazy. Bill Blumberuski is taking over, and as you can see, this is the playoffs. It's either win or go home, and, and I mean, we're not going to lose, and on first and ten, that is a Pat Mahomes play. Oh my god. But on first and goal, Bill Blumberuski he was sitting in the pocket, but he likes to run that ball a lot, and he's going to punch it in for six. But on first and goal, he was sitting in that pocket, and he bounces it out again and throws an interception. The D lineman got it because he got hit, but Bill Blumberuski's not going to give up on the play. He's going to go get you and tackle you. That last play kind of startled Bill Blumberuski because that was only his second interception of the season. But on second and two, he shook it off his shoulder and threw it down to Ostrander. But on first and ten, he was sitting in the pocket, and he has the greatest O-line in the country but he throws another TD and on first and 10 he's sitting back there for days and throws another dot he gets player the game with 8 total TDs and picks up an offer from Wisconsin going into our next game against Caddy isn't promised we could lose and we could go home but Bill Blumberuski effort is not giving up he is gonna punch it in with the first touchdown of the game but on second and goal Bill Blumberuski runs outside and throws it back inside to his wide receiver but on first and 10 he was sitting in the pocket and I think he has a problem sitting in that pocket now he likes to roll out. I think he got a little addicted to it. But with it being 14 to 0 already, Coach said if we run the score, he's going to take me out the game early to save me for that national championship. But on second and goal, Bill Blumberuski runs in with another rushing TD and gives it off to Alex Howell for another one. It is now 35 to 0, and I need like one more touchdown for Coach to take me out of the game. But I will roll out of the pocket and throw it to my teammate Howell, and he goes in for six. But I get player of the game with five total TDs, and we are headed to the national championship. And Bill Blomberuski picks up an offer from Baylor. Night of the championship game was a game for the ages. As the teams warmed up, the array of college coaches lying in the sidelines was a testament to the magnitude of the game. And with Bill Blomberuski being that spotlight and being the one that coaches come up to and say, you're that five-star quarterback out of Texas. And Bill Blomberuski said, yes, sir, it is because I do things like this. I break tackles and find open receivers down the field and I never give up on plays and I'm going to stay home because I want a championship and I want to move my family out of the place that we are in now. But he almost throws an interception. But on second and one, Bill Blumberuski will go outside and go in for six. But on first and 10, it is 17 to zero. And Bill Blumberuski said, I want to run it. And he dives and he was short. But on first and goal, he said, I'm going to run it outside. And ah, I'm fired.
fired up. They'd already be in 24 to 0 on the game. Colt said, I'm going to try to get some of these backups in. So he takes me out of the game. Bill Blumberuski is player of the game with five total TDs, picks up an offer from Texas Tech, and he is now faced with the biggest decision of his life. With all the trials and tribulations that he went through, he is going to commit to the first school that offered him, UTSA. Bill Blumberuski's commitment to the University of Texas at San Antonio was a decision led by loyalty and gratitude. UTSA was the first school to see his potential and offer him a spot. Arriving at UTSA, he was initially named the second string quarterback, a position that might have disheartened others, but only fueled Bill's determination. But his transition from high school stardom to college football brought new challenges. The game was faster, the players were bigger, and the strategies more complex, yet Bill, with his unshakable spirit, took to the field with the same passion and hard work that had defined his journey so far. During today's practice session, Bill's unique blend of raw talent and relentless determination quickly caught the eye of his coaches and all of his teammates. And he wasn't just another freshman. He was a player that could turn his program around. So Coach said, with that being said, Saturday, you're going to start. Saturday's game loomed ahead, a new test in Billy's journey. But for Blumberuski Bill, every challenge was an opportunity, every play a chance to prove that heart and hard work could get over any obstacle that you want to get over in life. And Bill Blumberuski came out this game against UNM very intense and ready to strike anybody. He was throwing that ball down the field so hard and not playing with anyone. But he will get a fullback to dive for the first touchdown of the game. But on first and 10, he throws a dot to his wide receiver and he drops the ball. But on first and 10, he gets sacked. And this old line he kind of got to get the connection with him. You know, he could, he doesn't have the connection. He comes from one of the top five O-lines in high school. And this is the worst team in almost college football. So he has to bring them back to history. But on first and 10, he takes it to the house. And he was absolutely fired up. But on second and 10, he gets sacked again. Bill Blumberuski is not used to getting put on that ground, but he's used to getting back up and fighting adversity. And on third and 18, he throws a dot, a miracle way to put it in there. And on third and 18, we will go convert for more than just the first down. But on second and 10, as you can see, Bill Blumberuski runs that ball outside. He could and he would run out of bounds. He almost ran it in for six, but on second and goal, he gives it to his running back for six. And as you can see, we have a read option and he gives it back to Smith for another TD. After having a great first game, Bill Blumberuski came into this practice next week and said, guys, we gotta get better. Bill did not come to practice playing. He came out very intense, and as you can see, he rolled out of that pocket and seen nothing but that end zone, so he took that thing all the way to the crib. And with this college football program losing for like the past 10 years, it's time for a change, so Bill Blumberuski will throw another pass to his receiver, and he will get tackled. But going into the next play, as you can see, he was sitting in the pocket. There were no targets, but yes, he did. He found a target to see and he take that thing all the way to the crib. But everything that Bill Bumbaruski do is just amazing. I mean, he throws out of the pocket great. He sits in the pocket great. Steps up in the pocket. He can do it all. And he can also run that ball. He is not scared to run through you and boom over you. But as you can see, oh my God, spin move, breaking tackles and going crazy in practice. But Coach said you're in no danger of losing that starting position. Going into our second game of the season, going against Oklahoma State. As you can see on third and 10, Bill Bumbaruski rolls out of that pocket and throws a dot to Smith and he will get tackled. Going into this game, being down by seven, we kind of got all the pressure on our backs on first and ten. Juke, juke, oh my god, breaking tackles and he could get up that field. I am muscling up, but things went bad. Bill Mabaruski got hurt and he was watching this team and as you can see on second and seven, what is the quarterback doing? I said no, I'm going to get back on that field and get that read option and as you can see, oh my god, first down. Again down to that goal line on first and goal, as you can see, he was tripping over his teammates, but he will get in that box and said, no sir, no sir, this is my house. But as you can see on first and 10, he was sitting in that pocket. That boy not scared. But as you can see, he rolls out because that DN was coming and he finds an open receiver for a 34-yard reception. But on first and go, that's how you throw a touch check down real quick. And on first and go, that's how you get it to your running back and punch that thing again. But on first and go, as you can see, we punch it in again. And on second and eight, I was sitting in that pocket, but I rolled out and they was kind of all coming. But guess what? I found an open tight end all the way down the field and he will get a Great reception. As you can see, we're going to end the game. I get player of the game with two total TDs. On the tar next game against Arizona. Oh, my God. The tight end got so wide open to drop the ball. Come on, man. How you drop that? But on third and three, Bill Bumbarucci said he's not going to drop his head. I'm going to go get it myself since my teammate couldn't get it. But I dap him up and say, you good, brother. I got your back. 
But on second and three, as you can see, he rolls out of that pocket again. Now, I think they was in some cover one defense, but that thing was terrible, so I took it in for six. But when Bill get that, bam, oh my God, look at that running back lay that linebacker out. But Bill gets that ball in his hands. It's something special when he throws a deep pass, and he will get knocked out of bounds. But on first and ten, I was sitting in that pocket, but I got a little too impatient. I took that thing myself and said, dive for a six because I'm the man. But on first and ten, as you can see, Bill rolls out of that pocket and throws another dot. But on first and ten, it's now 20. 27 to 7, and I said I want to run that score, but I'm not going to lie. He threw me to that ground. And I got back up and said, boy, you done lost your mind. But I'm checking at 29. I roll out of that pocket. I'm going to show this boy what I'm made of, and I will throw that thing down deep, and he goes and get it, and he turns that corner, and he could, and he would go all the way for six. But as you can see on first and 10, I said, hold on, let's do it again. But he gets you string tackle, and Bill Bumbarowski will break the school passing yards record already. This is just the third game, baby. Biggest player of the game with five total TDs. After coming out of the monster game last game, we're going to break these boys right here apart going against UTEP. And on first and 10, I throw it to Franklin, and that boy stiff arming his way up the field for a 36 yard reception. Then I give it to the running back, Trey Lawrence Smith, for a four yard TD run. But on first and goal, Bill Bumbarowski bounces it outside and said, I want one too, fellas. But on first and 10, he was sitting back in that pocket and throws a dot to the tight end. Everybody going to eat this game. It's 21 to 0. I told you. We're going to get these boys a spanking. And I give it to Franklin again. And on second and 18, sitting in that pocket, they send a blitz. Them boys send a blitz. And against Bill Bumbarowski, that's the worst thing you could do. And on second and two, he rolls out of that pocket and goes in with his second rushing TD and said, no, 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 no. This is my house. Y'all boys got me messed up. But as you can see, we're sitting in the pocket again, rolls out, finds a wide open receiver. Wilson goes in. It is now 55. To, I don't even know it. We blew him out. And Bill gets player of the game with six total TDs. But the pass season seasons that UTSA has had. They ever have great ones. So as you can see, going against Houston, this is the blessed game to have, and we have to have a great one to show the world who we are. And Bill Bomaruski throws his first interception of the season. This cannot be true. But on second and three, as you can see, he rolls out of that pocket and said, I will not back down. And he throws a dot to his receiver, but he gets boomed. But as you can see on first and goal, Bill Bomaruski will take it in for six. He said, I'm not going to back down. Y'all boys going to feel me. I promise you that. But with us going up 7-0 early, it puts stress on that defense. So I'm going to break it all the way apart. And as you can see, we throw a dot down the field. And on second and goal, Bill Blombarowski will run through you, run around you, do anything to get in that box. But on third and 10, he rolls out of the pocket with 41 seconds on the clock. It's 21 to 14. And number 18, he could and he would hit that sideline to put the icing on the cake. Bill gets where the game with three total TDs. On to our next game against March on first and 10. I thought I'd do a dot, but I threw that thing over his head. But that tight end so tall, you could jump up and get it, son. But on second and 10, Bill rolls out of the pocket again and we kind of got a lot of pressure on us we're down so we got to score and i throw my second interception of the season i'm kind of frustrated i'm not gonna lie and on second and ten and when bill get frustrated he doesn't play well but as you can see he put it aside and he's gonna play a great game but on first and ten he gets back in that pocket thought he was gonna get second off of me boy and he rolls out and throws a dot to hider and he could run over and gets filmed as well one of bill's first reprogressions is that tight end that's his favorite tight end that's his favorite target and that's you can see if it's not the tight end, it's himself. He's going to run it right up the middle. And on first and goal, we give it to the running back, Smith, for six. And on second and goal, I will roll out of that pocket and take it in again and give all praises to the most high. And on first and ten, Bill rolls out of that pocket again. He will throw another dot. And Cephas could, and he would, go all the way for a six. But Bill gets player the game with six total TDs. Going into our next game, we prepare for this game like it was a stat game. And on first and ten against Rice, as you can see, Bill Bumbarowski will roll out of that pocket. Juke, juke, oh my God, he will get hit, though. They rallied the ball. And on first and ten, he rolls out of the pocket, and we will go in with the first touchdown of the game. It's time to get it started. And with that being said, he breaks the school rushing TD record with 12. 12 rushing TDs on the season already. And he runs a read option and runs another one. And that takes us up 14 to 0. And we throw another one to take us up 21 to 0. And as you can see on first and 10, I mean, I'm just sitting here. This D-line is terrible. And as you can see, he will catch that ball and bounce it back out. But they rallied that ball again. And on first and 10, he was sitting back in that pocket. He could wait, wait, wait. God, 
He catches that ball. He looks like Devontae Smith out there. And on first and 10, he will roll out again and throw it to his tight end for six. And with the number that Bill Bumbaruski is putting up every single game, I'm not going to lie. They have no choice but to give him Heisman. But the team that he's on, they might not give him Heisman, but he's going to keep working. He gets player of the game with seven total TDs. Finally, after all of the hard work that we've been through, all of the games we have won without losing, not one game, but we've been in some close games, but we came through. We are now ranked number 24 in the country. And on first and goal, Bill Bumbaruski will bounce it out and die for six. And on second and 10, as you can see, he rolls out again. I think that's his favorite thing to do is roll out of that pocket because he's different. I mean, he looks like Patrick Mahomes, but better. And on second and two, he runs it in again. And on first and 10, he rolls out of that pocket, throws a dot for six. We're going into the next play on first and 10, Bill Bumbaruski rolls out of that pocket. And as you can see, he puts that thing on the money. I mean, I told that boy to go get it. And he went to go get it. And on second and 10, he will roll out of the pocket again. They keep sending a blitz. I don't know who they think I am. I roll out of pocket for a reason. You're going to have to put them DMs on contain because they not going to catch me, buddy. But as you can see on second and 10, he went and go get it and he could and he would take that thing. Oh my God, he boomed him. And on second and goal, he rolls out again for six. And he said, I'm just going to break every record I can. And Bill gets where the game with seven total TDs. After talking to coach and he said I was in the Heisman race, I came out of Tulsa and said, I'm going to embarrass these boys. And as you can see, that boy could and he would take this thing to the crib to get the game started off. And we get the first touchdown of the game. And on third and 10, we get the ball back and Tulsa obviously didn't score. So I throw a dot to Clark for another touchdown. And on first and 10, I give it to Smith. He said, I want one. And guess what he did that boy took that thing all the way to the crib and got him one two and i said let's get it boy and on first and ten my receiver said he wanted one so guess what that boy gonna go get him one two franklin could and he would go get hawk come on baby you gotta be faster if you want one but on first and goal we getting out to that goal line and i will take that thing in it's now 35 to 21 and on first and ten i find my tight end my favorite target he could and he would go all the way but he will get hawk because he is not has the speed as bill bumbaruski and bill bumbaruski he will take it in with another one. And on first and goal, guess what he did? Another one. And he was fired up. He said, hey, that's five. That's five of them. But as you can see, he gets the game off with five total TDs. Going into our next game against Tulane on first and 10, I think we found our match. This D-line rallied that ball and made Bill Bumbaruski fumble it. So he got back up and said, you know what? On second and 10, he rolls out of that pocket and said, I'm going to dot y'all boys up. Y'all done messed up. Y'all done tried me like I was a rookie, even though I'm a freshman. But I play like a senior and as you can see that boy threw a dot to Cephas and on first and 10 he rolls out of that pocket again said he gonna go get one himself for six and he was fired up he said no 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 everybody get off of me I got this I'm breaking loose and I'm breaking out of my case so I'm gonna throw another dot and show these boys that I'm the Heisman that everybody won't and that everybody gonna know about after this season and that boy was absolutely fired up and he thanked the O-line after he ran that one in cause they just blocked amazing and on first and 10 we found the tight end all the way down the field and he could and he would take that thing for six. We're going to win the game and Bill gets player of the game with six total TDs. Going into our next game against North Texas. We're now ranked number five. We are now back on the maps and everybody know about UTSA. I mean all the Alabamas, all the LSUs, everybody that's up there in the SEC, they going to know about us today and when we play them, we're going to make sure that we show them boys who we are and how hard we hit and how we strike that ball down that field on offense. And as you can see, we're not playing and on first and ten, it's 31 to 14 already. I throw that ball to Hada for six. And I sit back in that pocket and again, I, I got impatient. And I took that thing all the way to the house and I will die because I'm that man. I said, no, 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 no. It's no respect with y'all boys. I'm going to show y'all boys how I feel about you. And on first and 10, I take that thing all the way to the crib again and get player of the game with seven total TDs. Going into our next game against LA Tech, it kind of got physical before the game. We got to an altercation because they were stumping on our logo and we weren't going for it, but they picked the ball off and they're kind of backing up their problems. I told my wife, I said, boy, don't throw your hands up at me if you don't want the ball. Bill was kind of getting his head. When he got to the sideline, he threw his helmet down. The coach said, you can't do that, son, but he throws a die. He said, I'm, I'm back. I'm going to show y'all boys who I am. You know, first and 10, I'm going to show y'all boys why I'm a Heisman contender. I'm going to show y'all boys why I've been underrated my whole life and that boy threw a dot to his wide receiver and that boy got up that field. It's 24 to 17. Start backs against the wall and this team isn't even ranked, so if we lose this game, we will not go to that national championship game. And on first and 10, it's 31 to 27. I throw a 
stop, but he was out of bounds. So I said, you know what? I'm going to take matters into my own hands. On first and goal, Bill Bumba Ruski takes it in for a six. But it's first to ten. They went back down and scored. It's now 38 to 34. And oh my God, will he catch it? No, he will not. And they will go on and win the ball game. We lost the game. With all of the years that UTSA has had a losing record, they finally made it to the conference game. And on fourth and three, I mean, I absolutely threw a dot and the wide receiver dropped the ball. But on second and ten, Bill Bumba Ruski rolls out of that pocket and he could find another person but he throws an interception and I mean at the end of the season he's been throwing interceptions like they're regular passes I mean I don't know what's going on but on first and 10 he rolls out of that pocket and could he find a receiver yes he will he would not get in for six but you know who gonna get in for six on first and go that boy gonna take that thing in and yes sir y'all know what time it is but when Bill Bumbaruski gets that first touchdown he start doing crazy things that you've never seen I mean throwing it off your back foot doing crazy passes and on second and 10 he threw it up but he threw another interception and I don't know what has gotten into Bill Bumbaruski I mean I think something is going on in his head he got something back at home going on but he's frustrated I mean I don't know what it is but on second and one he throws a dot and on first and 10 he rolls out of that pocket again and guess what he will find a receiver and he will cut it up that field bounce it with a break one tackle and could go in for six and on first and goal he said he gonna put matters into his own hand and take that thing in and on first and 10 it's overtime man it's 42 to 35 so we got the backs against the wall and he throw it to franklin but guess what we're back up after we score and on first and go bill bomba Ruski takes it in and he says shh y'all boys thought we wasn't gonna win and we came and we are the truth and we are conference champions all that said we still didn't go to that national championship but bill bomba Ruski, freshman season heisman with the stats that he had was crazy after winning heisman he's been getting so many calls from all of these coaches with NIL deal saying they want him and they would give him a certain amount of money if he comes. So Bill Bumbaruski has entered the transfer portal. After all the NIL deals that Bill Bumbaruski has gotten, Tennessee Vols has offered him a 5.1 million deal. And as you can see, Bill Bumbaruski made his commitment. With all good things, there always is a bad thing. Bill Bumbaruski was number two on that depth chart, so he had to prove to coach that he could be number one and go out and show them and take them to a national championship. Already being 5'11", he's already at a disadvantage throughout his whole lifetime, but Bill has always faced challenges, and guess what? He's going to take over, and as you can see, what juke juke, get outside, and oh my god, spin move, breaking tackle. With a great practice, Coach, you could challenge that next string next week. Going into Bill's first game in an SEC stadium, it was kind of unbelievable. I mean, this crowd and fan base was just amazing, and to not be on that field, Bill was kind of frustrated, but as you can see, his offense was getting stopped, and he wanted to go out there, so he sent him out there to hold the ball for the PAT, but Bill never got to touch the field, so he's going into the next practice. Going into the next practice, Bill Bumbaruski get the challenge against Joe Milton the third, and he said he was not coming out here to play. And I mean, just look at that juke and weaving and making all of these defenders miss to get to that end zone. I mean, this guy's different, mama. But as you can see, Bumbaruski rolls out of that pocket, punk fates, and then throws a dot to Keaton. And he go ahead and win the position battle right there. But he said he wants to throw one more dot for his wide receiver to take it for six. He is now the number one QB be on the depth chart. Being named a starter in our next game against Western Kentucky University, I mean, Bill Bumbaruski threw a dot to start the game off. He didn't get in that end zone, but we got a read option on that goal line to take it in for six. And I mean, reading Western Kentucky defense, they were running some kind of cover two zone, so I said I was going to eat the middle alive, and I'm also going to eat those flats up. But as you can see, I ran it outside and he could and he would take it to the crib and got up and celebrated with his teammate. And getting back on the sideline and watching that defense rally that ball with the sack, I was just fired up to get back on the field. And on first and 10, Bill Bumbaruski got out there sitting in that pocket, steps up in that pocket, and he's going to run it. Mama, he's going to get missing. Joke. Oh, my God. And he was breaking tackles, but they rallied that ball. But on first and 10, he was sitting in the pocket, but he gets a little impatient and rolls out and could and he would bend that corner and go in for six. But on second and 10, he rolls out again and throws a dot all the way to McCoy, and he takes it to the crib. And as you can see, Bill Bumbaruski, a player of the game with six total TDs. After that great win, we're going to try next game against number 14, Oregon, and it's time to put the end of them, but they got a tackle for loss, and they were kind of fired up on us early on, but on third and seven, Bill Bumaruski couldn't find a target, so he absolutely stayed in that pocket, steps up, juke jukes, and was weaving in, oh my god, running over defenders, I mean muscle up, son, but on second and goal, Bill Bumaruski comes outside and takes it in for six, and on first and ten, he's sitting back in that pocket, oh my god, he steps up with the launcher arm that he has, and throws a 
dot to squirrel. As we get the ball back and drop back down the field, Bill Bumbaruski loves his O-line. I mean, coming from UTSA, this is kind of a great change in getting a greater O-line. I mean, he absolutely can sit back in that pocket and do anything he wants. But he takes it in for a six again, and we will go on to win the ball game. After another great win, we're faced to another big team that's one of our rivals. But as you can see, Bill Bumbaruski, juke, juke, bam! Oh my God, get out of my way. Bill will go all the way for six to start the game off. And that's a way to get the momentum early on. And we get the ball back and Bill said he's going to run the score up. So he throws a dot to Squirrel White. I'm not going to lie. After those two plays, I would kind of give up. But Bill said he wasn't done just yet. On the read option, he takes that thing all the way to the house. And he was absolutely fired up. He said, I'm eating up. Y'all boys suck. But as you can see on first and 10, he rolls out and he rolls back in and he tries to run around his D lineman and gets sacked for a safety. That was a terrible play by Bill, but he said, I'll get it back, coach. He said he hits that sideline and he could. Bam! Oh my God. One thing for sure and one thing for certain, Bill Bumbaruski will run through you, but we going with another one. He is the game off of five total TD. For our next game against USA, it was first and 10 and Bill rolls out of that pocket. That's one of his favorite things to do. He's a roll out of the pocket kind of quarterback, but he throws a dot to McCoy for a 33 yard reception, but on first and 10, he was sitting in that pocket and he said he wants to run it. He breaks one tackle, bounces it back outside and he said, I'm going to get it in this box and dives for six. Oh my God. But on second and 10, he was sitting in that pocket again and this D lineman absolutely came and sacked him and he didn't like that at all. But after being sacked, there was only one way to react. I'm not getting sacked again. So he throws a dot to his wide receiver, Thor Jr. And he could take that thing all the way to the house. But going into the next play on first and 10, I didn't want to pitch the ball. I wanted it myself. So I said, I'm going to go all the way, but he pushes me out of bounds. And on first and 10, I said, the read option, they are biting on it every time. So just let me take that thing to the crib. And Bill Bombaruski will go all the way. And he was absolutely fired up with his teammates. But on first and 10, he absolutely rolls out of that pocket again. Juke, juke, makes a miss, bounces it back out and goes in with another rushing TD. He ends the game off with seven total TDs. Going into our next game, one of the biggest games on our schedule. Number one, Georgia. It's time to put an end to them because they are undefeated and we're undefeated and we're going to be conference champs and we're going to be national champs. But on second and goal, Bill Bumbaruski rolls out of pocket, breaks one tackle, breaks another one, let this number 13 get up and sack him for a negative 10 yard loss. But Bill Bumbaruski goes down and they put Joe Milton the third and his back the one that Bumbaruski took the spot from in the first place. But on first and 10, I said, no coach, I got to get back out there. I don't care if I'm hurt, but boom, I'm not letting him take my spot again. I'm going to show you that I got some fight in me, coach. But on second and goal, he absolutely dunks on this defender. Oh my God, to go in for a six. We're up 14 to seven. And as you can see on fourth and nine, I said, I was not putting that ball coach. I'm going to go get that first down and run him over because I'm strong. Sitting at 185, I will run through you. I'm not scared of you. And on first and 10, I absolutely had no D line rushing me. So I had time through a dot to web. But on third and 20, it's now 38 to 21. And oh my God. God, squirrel for six. I get player of the game with five total TDs. After taking the big win against number one, Georgia, they still kind of didn't give us our flowers. We're still ranked number four, but it's okay because we're going to show South Carolina why they're just the statement game. We are going to run up stats against South Carolina. And on second and eight, I step up in the pocket. Absolutely didn't have any targets to throw the ball to. So I bounce it back outside and I'm just going to have a field day. I'm just going to run over kids and absolutely break tackles. But on first and 10, I throw a dot somehow some way I got it in there that's what you call a thrower but as you can see on third and 25 I absolutely throw my first interception with the Tennessee Vols and I just was kind of in distraught I was I was mad at myself after having a whole tantrum on the sideline coach said get it together and I said I got you coach so I run it in for six and say let me get my mind right and on third and ten Bumbaruski was sitting in the pocket I mean what what are they they got a contain on two sides and they're not blitzing anybody so I'm gonna dot you up yeah I mean if you're not gonna blitz me I will sit in that pocket and find time to find a receiver that's gonna get open and on second and seven I was sitting in the pocket again look they're scared of me I throw a, absolutely a dot and he could and he would go all the way for six. I get player of the game again with six total TD. Going into our next game against the one of the hardest stadiums to win a game, man. And we're going against Alabama. And they should have recruited me out of high school. This is one of my dream schools that Bill Bomaruski wanted to go to. But they did not recruit me, so I'm going to make them pay for it. After we scored, they marched down and scored as well. But they missed the field goal attempt. But as you can see on first and 10, they sent a blitz after me. But I tried to run him over and fumbled the ball and got a turnover and gave them the ball. And they went down and scored. But 
But on first and 10, I said, I got to get my act together. They are blitzing like crazy. So I got to get that ball out of there quick. But on first and 10, I was sitting in a pocket again. My O-line's holding up. And guess what? I find Webb right in that end zone for six. But on first and goal, I roll out of that pocket. And I could and I would get in the crib for six. But on first and 10, I throw a dot. And we will go on and win the ball game. I get player of the game with six total TDs. You're taking wins after wins after wins. We're going against Mizzou. And oh my God, these white and orange uniforms are crazy. And Bumba Ruski is even crazier. He takes it for six to get the game started off. And he was absolutely fired up. He said this is his house. And on second and 10, scan all of his targets. He found one right down the seam for six. And on first and 10, he rolls out of the pocket again. I mean, every time he gets a blitz, he's going to roll out. So you better just watch out. And he absolutely runs out of bounds because he got tired. Getting down to the goal line, first and goal. He tried to run it in, but they absolutely stopped him. But he goes down, injured again. And Joe Milton the third goes in, and Bumba Ruski doesn't like that. He comes off of that sideline and said, Coach, put me in the game. Coach said, No, son, you're going to get your rest. And Joe Milton the third sits in the pocket and finally makes the touchdown. I said, Coach, I can't make him look good. He's not taking my spot back. And on first and 10, Bumba Ruski got back in and absolutely goes insane. It's 35 to 21, and he's going to run right around that defender and going for six, and he breaks the school rushing TD record with 19 TDs on the season already. Bumaruski gets player of the game with five total TDs. On the Tarnest game against Auburn on first and 10, I absolutely thought I had a wide open receiver, but he deflected the ball. I don't think the Eagles came to play today. And on first and goal, I absolutely run it in. I absolutely hurt her over that kid. But on second and 10, absolutely O-line clamping up. Juke, juke, making him miss. Bam, get out of my way. I'm breaking tackles because I want to win. And after we scored, the Auburn Eagles strike back. It's 7-7, seven to seven, and that D-line is rallying that ball. They get me for a sack. And on second and 12, Bumbaruski sitting in that pocket and get sacked again. He said he can't take it anymore. On third and 18, he said, you don't want to block. Bam, get out of my way. I'm going to take over this whole game. And on second and 10, he's sitting back in that pocket and throws a dot to McCoy, but he will get tackled. On first and goal, Bumbaruski rolls out of that pocket and comes back. I don't know why he came back, but he breaks two tackles. Oh, my God. Throws a dot across the field to Jabari Small for six. And on third and 10 he screenplay was kind of clamped down so he gets sacked again and he said I can't take this anymore on second and 10 that D-line is coming he threw him to the ground and was clapping over him but Bumbaruski said guess what I'm gonna strike back I'm not gonna drop my head you got me messed up it being 35 to 17 we have to score quick Bumbaruski throws a dot to McCoy and gets on that goal line and almost throws an interception come on man so that leads the PAT to the field and they will kick three it's now 20 to 35 but we get that ball back our defense is just magnificent. But as you can see, I just throw it up. Bill Bumbaruski, oh my God, he catches it and he could get to that goal line. But on fourth and 15, we just can't score and they get a turnover downs. But we still got fight and I throw a dot and a squirrel white for six. We get that ball back. That defense is strapping down and I absolutely throw a dot and a squirrel white again. And on first and 10, our defense is amazing. With 21 seconds left on that clock, I throw a dot to Thornton Jr gets us down to the goal line and on first and 10 I absolutely throw it out of bounds and say field goal field goal and they kick three and we win the game with a crazy comeback Bill Bumbaruski gets player of the game with four total TD. On the next game against Vanderbilt on first and 10 that offensive line absolutely was pancaking their whole defensive line and I threw a dot to squirrel white this is my favorite target he takes it for six and on second and goal I throw a crazy read option pitch somehow some way I got it out and we go in with another one and it's now 14 to 7 on first and 10 I said I'm not going to scramble I tricked you and throw a dot to my core oh my god stiff arm and he could oh my god another stiff arm and he takes it all the way to the crib but Vanderbilt isn't giving up I mean they went back down to score but guess what we score again Vanderbilt so go score another one but guess what oh my god McCoy wide open and goes all the way for six I get player of the game with five total TDs on to our next game against the University of Kentucky oh my god Bill Bumbaruski breaking tackles and he will get 
get stopped on the one yard line, but on second and goal, he will take it back in because he should have scored the first one, but it's all right. But on first and 10, he getting pressure and throws a dot to small, and he goes all the way for a pretty big game. And I give it to small, my running back, another one. But on first and 10, as you can see, I roll out of that pocket. Oh my God. And this dude just absolutely manhandled me, ripped the ball out and forced a fumble. But Bill Bomberuski said he has to get it together. It's 21 to 21, and we cannot lose to the University of Kentucky. And on first and goal, I give it to small again to go in for six. But on third and 15, I'm sitting in that pocket. I absolutely scrambled. Juke, juke. Oh my God. Where is he going? Catch your feet, brother. But on third and 15, Bill Bomberuski takes it for a first down. And we're going to win the game. He gets player of the game with two total TDs. Being a sophomore and going back to back to conference championships is amazing for Bill Bomberuski. But oh my God. Catches a dot. Squirrel White catches a long pass for Bomberuski to start the game off. And Bomberuski goes in for six. But we're going against Arkansas. And it's time to beat him to go to that national championship back to back. But on first and 10, Bill Bomberuski was sitting in the pocket. Rolls out and he could. And he would hit that sideline. And he could go all the way. Bro, oh my God. This kid is crazy. But on second and goal, he will punch it in for six. And he was absolutely fired up. He told his teammates, this is my house. But he throws another dot. We're down by seven. And oh my God. On first and 10, Bill Bomaruski runs him over. Breaks a tackle. Could run him over and get the first down. And on second and goal, Bill rolls out of that pocket and punches it in for six. And he was absolutely fired up. Thus getting down to the fourth quarter. We absolutely took over. Nailed the ball. And we are conference champions. Bill Bomaruski has did it again, mama. But as you can see, he did not win Hosman. How? How? How did he not win Hosman? Somehow Raheem Sanders won it and he will get it next year. But the sophomore going back to back champions. The newspaper said Tennessee Bumperuski has prepared all his life for this moment. Going against USC on first and 10, Bill Bumperuski is going to win this national championship. He told them boys, y'all in for a good one, but he fumbles the ball. And I just hope the crowd wasn't just too big for him and he just got into the moment and it's going to lose it all. But we got that ball back and Bill Bumperuski picked his head up through a dot and went in with six early on. And on first and 10, he, oh my God, he threw an interception with his second turnover of the game. I mean, the stage is getting a little too big for Bill Bumaruski and he's getting under pressure and it's 28 to 10 and he throws another interception and oh my God, this is his third turnover of the game. I mean, I don't know what's gotten into him, if he's scared or this team is just rallying the ball or what, but he said, you know what? I'm going to put my foot on that pedal and I'm not going to back down. Bill Bumaruski throws a dot. We're now down 17, 28 and guess what? We're down 24 to 28. We're back. And on first and 10, he throws a dot to Jabari Small. And on first and 10, he gets down to that goal line and runs it in himself for six. He said he's absolutely taking over. And on first and goal, oh my God, he gets sacked. He said, well, 27 seconds, I'm not going out like this. McCoy for six, and we are national champions. We were not going to lose. And that's what you call a team with some fight in them. But this is the end of Bill Bumbaruski's sophomore season. This is Bill Bumbaruski's junior season. And after winning the national championship, the feeling that he had he said he wanted to go back and there was no one that was gonna stop him meanwhile going into our first game against the number 17 seed kansas state we start off intense i throw a dot to my wide receiver dante and on first and 10 i was getting some pressure by the d line and bill bomberusi juke juke oh my god where is he going bam oh my god running defenders over when kansas state not striking back after we scored i said it's only one way we gonna score again juke juke i was breaking tackles but i got slammed to the ground and somehow some way i went out with back spasms so they put the other quarterback in and i'm just watching him on the sideline get sacked so i come back in that game and throw a dot i said you're not gonna take my position and on first and ten bill bombaruski throw a dot all the way down the field and thornton could go all the way for a six and he was absolutely fired up but on second and ten we have a read option i bounce it outside spin move oh my god look like braxton miller out there on second and ten takes it all the way to the crib and we're going to win the game and he gets player of the game with five total tds after bill bombaruski had a spectacular game last game going into next game against FCS West, it has to be another one. And on first and 10, as you can see, he runs inside, juke jukes outside, and no one else is gonna catch him. Psych! They shoot string tackle him. But on first and goal, he had 
three defenders tackle him, and he went out again. That's going to be his biggest problem this year. He's gotten hurt, and the other quarterback came in to put 14 up, but I come back in first and go, throw a dot to White. I said, let's go, man. We back, and it's time to take over. First and 10, I throw a dot all the way down the field, and on first and 10, we got backed up. It's 34 to three, and guess what? Just look at that dot. You thought he was going to intercept him, but it was a 65-yard reception. On first and go, boom, get out of my way. I'm going in for six. We will go on to win another ball game. He is game off of five total TDs. Going into our next game against the number seven C Oklahoma on first and 10. Bill Bomberuski was trying to find his way into that end zone, but he just couldn't get in there. On third and goal, this DN absolutely wrapped him up and threw him to the ground. But on fourth and goal, I said y'all not going to stop me. I'm going to get in regardless. And on first and 10, Bill Bomberuski rolls out of the pocket, finds his target on that streak route, and he catches it in wheel delirium for a 44-yard reception. But on first and 10, he throw it to square wide for six, and it's time to run the score up. They go down and score, but guess what? We come back down and march and score again. We're absolutely throwing another dot. But on first and 10, we have a read option, and oh my god, he kept it. Breaks one tackle, and he could, and he would go all the way. Bill Bumbarewski will be Heisman this year, and he is going to break all of the school records. On second and 10, he's sitting back in that pocket and delivers to Ethan Davis. This player of the game with six total TDs. On into the next game against 3-0 and Florida Gators. It's time to put them to an end. On second and 10, I throw a dot and he absolutely gets up that field for a 61-yard reception. And on second and goal, I said, I'm going to take it in myself this time and absolutely celebrate it with the team because Bill was fired up. And on third and goal, he will roll out of that pocket and go in for another one. We're now up 14-0 and we keep getting the ball back because our defense keep going out there getting stops. And I will dive for another rushing yard TD. That's three on the game all Already. And on second and 10, Bill will find his target way up to go in for another one. And on third and 12, I'm absolutely getting pressure, so I run that ball. Chook, chook. Oh my God, he's going to get ran over. But bam, oh my God, he absolutely hit Bill and he kind of hurt him after that. It didn't stop him from delivering passes, but running that ball, he was kind of scared. But this time, he threw the defender off him. He said, ha, 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 got him back. But on first and goal, Bill will run it outside and run him over. He was fired up. He said, shh, let's go. We're going to win the game. He gets player of the game with seven total teams. Going into our next game against the number 25 seed, 3-0 LSU on first and 10. I throw a dot to Ethan Davis, and things are starting to get serious for us because we're now ranked number three in the nation, but Bill said that isn't going to affect him. He goes in for six. It's now 14-0. On first and 18, Bill will find his target, the Nathan Leacock, but on first and goal, he will sit back in that pocket, and he will go in for another rushing TD. He told his teammate, great blocking up front, man. He throws another one to Leacock for six. It's now 27-3, and on first and 10, I find Caleb well on first and 10. That pocket was getting destroyed. So I roll out of that pocket and he could go all the way, get that first down, but he would get thrown out of bounds. But on first and goal, he give it to his running back to punch it in for six. But on second and 10, it's not over. I want to run the score. So I throw a dot all the way down the field for a 61 yard reception. I end the game off with six total TDs. Going into our next game against three and two Georgia on second and 10. I find my receiver burning this DB on the left side of the field for a 50 yard reception. And that's how you get the game starting, but on second and 10, he thought he was going to sack me, but I rolled out and find my receiver, Leacock, for a 24-yard reception, but on first and goal, oh my god, I will run that ball, and with that run right there, Bumbarewski is doing miracles. He break the school rushing TD record, and he is not playing this year. He's trying to go for Heisman, and he's trying to be a top draft pick in the NFL, but as you can see, he throws his first interception of the season, and that wasn't good, and on fourth and seven, I'm not going to lie, Georgia started rallying that ball, and things were going for a change and on first and goal bill said his back is against the wall so he going to score and he will it's now 14 to 21 but i find my receiver down the field again but on third and goal bill rolls out of that pocket and could and he would Oh my god. But we're going to win the game. He gets player of the game with six total TDs. Another great win. We are now ranked number two in the nation. And on first and ten, Bill Bumbarewski will find him a receiver. He absolutely broke through those cornerbacks and he strikes out like a lightning bolt and could go all the way to the crib. And on first and ten, we get that ball back. I feel our defense go out there and stop them boys. I absolutely stiff on my way all the way into that end zone. Boom! That's how you put it down and say, hey, this is my house. But on first and ten, Bill Bumbarewski will go. 
Oh, oh, Juke Juke, oh my god, what is these defenders doing out there? He's making them look like fools, but he go all the way for a six and was turning up with his teammates. But on second and ten, he was sitting back in that pocket, rolls out of that pocket, and he could go all the way for another rushing yard TD. And I'm not going to lie, this game right here, the NFL scouts are watching because he's going to break history. But he throws a dot to Caleb Webb for a six, and on first and goal, he rolls out of that pocket again. Get out of my way. I will run you over. He gets player of the game with nine total TDs. Going into our next game against South Carolina, on first and 10, that D-line was rallying the ball, and they sacked me, and I didn't really like that. On first and 10, Bill said he wanted revenge, but he got hit really hard again. And on first and goal, I'm not going to lie, this South Carolina defense is rallying the ball. They made me fumble it, but we recovered it. On second and goal, I said I want revenge. Y'all are not going to keep stopping me, so I throw it to Nate Spielman for six. And on first and 10, I will find another receiver, Squirrel White, in the back of the end zone. But oh my God, they hit me again, and Bill will fumble the ball, and they recovered this time. This is the second fumble. He's definitely disappointed with himself. On third and 10, he was sitting back in that pocket, and he would not throw a dot. This defender was all over it, but I wanted to go for it, but Coach said, son, punt the ball. So I punted it back to him, and we absolutely go down and hit him. But on first and 10, I was rolling out of that pocket, and I'm not going to lie, every receiver was clamped up, but I just threw this one up, and he went to go get it. But on first and go, Bill Bambarusi sitting back in that pocket. We go down and score. Going for the two-point conversion, he will throw an interception. And we try back down the field. We said this is not over just yet. It's 26-35. Bill want to give it his all, but he kind of fumbles the ball again, and they will recover it again. And things are not going our way, and we cannot lose this game. This is going to be our first loss. No, he fumbles it again. This is his third fumble of the game, and Bill is just not in his bag this game, and things are not going well. And they will go on and win the ball game, and Bill ends the game off with four total TDs. Going into our next game against 6-1 and one Alabama. Everyone is scared of Alabama just because of their name, but Bill Bumbaruski, boom, get out of my way, Juke. Oh my God, he is absolutely going insane and get an 18-yard rush to start the game off, and he likes to put an end to Alabama. On first and 10, he rolls out of that pocket after getting a touchdown and throws another interception. This is the second game in a row that Bill Bumbaruski threw two interceptions, and it's not like him. It's absolutely not, but going into the next play on first and goal, we drive down that field again, and it is now 14-0. We are going to blow them out. On second and 10, Bill Bumbaruski will bounce it outside. Chook, chook, oh my God. Get up that field and get all the way down to the goal line. But on first and 10, he rolls out of that pocket again and finds his receiver, Thornton Jr., and he takes it all the way to the crib. But our defense is kind of not holding up anymore, so we have to score. It's 47-31, to 31, and Bill throws a dot on first and 10, and he could and he would go all the way. We go on and win the ball game, and Bill ends the game off with seven total TDs. On to our next game against 4-5 and five Missouri. On first and 10, we are going to treat them as such. And throwing it to Thornton Jr., he was absolutely fired up early on. And on first and 10, Bill Bumarus rolling out of that pocket and throwing that ball on the run is something special to do, and that's why he's going to be a tough draft pick. And on second and 7, he rolls out again. And throwing it on the run is his thing. He might just be the next Russell Wilson. After having a great start on third and 10, I throw another dot to Thornton. And oh my God, Thornton Jr. is having him a game. But going into the next play on first and 10, I just give it to the running back. He going with a three-yard rush. And on first and 10, I go to Ethan Davis for a 22-yard reception. And guess what? He will go all the way for six. And I'm absolutely just running it up. As you can see, I'm just throwing dots all over the field. And they are taking it all the way to the crib. We're going to win the game. He gets the game off with seven total TDs. Going into our next game against five and five Vanderbilt on second and six. Bill Bumbaruski rolls out of the pocket and finds Squirrel White for a 29-yard reception. And on first and goal, I said I didn't want to pass it. I wanted to run it in. So Bill was being kind of selfish, but he went and got it. And he said, guess what? I don't want just one. I want two. And he fumbles the ball on the goal line. So that's what happens when you be a little selfish. And Bill was upset with himself. And I mean, he should be. He shouldn't have fumbled the ball. But on first and goal, Bill wants to run it again. And this time, he said he's going to punch his way in. And on first and goal, he throws a dot to Caleb Webb. But on first and 10, sent back in that pocket. He loves to roll out of that pocket and throw it on the run. I'm like, God, Thornton Jr., absolutely a dot. That was insane. But on first and goal, he throws a dot to Loney Nelson. And with that TD, school passing yard TD record is 
croaking. Oh my God, look at Bill throwing that pass right there. That was incredible. But on second and four, as you can see, he jukes. Oh my God, breaks a tackle, juke. Oh my God, he will go all the way for six. And he was fired up. He goes on to get player of the game with six total TDs. Into our next game against three and eight, Kentucky did not start off well. And they're three and eight, so why are we struggling with him? I don't know, but Bill didn't have a great start and he was kind of frustrated. And when he gets in his head, he kind of plays a little better. But on first and 10, as you can see, he rolls out that pocket. Oh my God, made one man miss and absolutely tried to stiff arm, but he will get brought down. But on third and 10, he had throw a dot to Thornton Jr. That's becoming one of his favorite receivers and he might just go to the NFL draft with him. But on first and 10, Bill rolls out of the pocket again and finds another receiver open for another dot. It's now 14 to 12 and I'm not going to lie, this D-line was coming. Over his way down that field, he said he has to get missing. Juke absolutely stiff arms him getting down to that goal line again. He said, you know what? I'm going to throw a dot and find Storin Jr. in the back of the end zone. And he breaks Peyton Manning's record. That is a blessing. Once he broke that record, you already know he's going to the league. But on first and 10, it's 28 to 25. And oh my God, this receiver was too open. And you know who it was. Thornton Jr. He goes on to get player of the game with seven total TDs. Still, Bumbaruski is blessed. I mean, with every year he's played college football, he's going to a conference championship. So on first and 10, you know who he finds. Thornton Jr. goes all the way to start the game off so we can make our mark to go to that national championship. And we were absolutely fired up. But on first and 15, he absolutely breaks a tackle, rolls out of that pocket and throws a dot. But he kind of just drops the ball. I don't know what he's doing. But on second and 15, I throw a dot to Lee Cott to take us up 14 to 7. But no, no, no. Texas A&M comes back down the field to tie it up. But guess what? Bill said he's going to strike back. So it's 21 to 14. We're in that safety. I break one tackle. Throw a dot. No, it was a deflection. But on first and 10, oh, it's an interception. Things are not going our way. And Bill, do not drop your head, son. Pick it back up. On first and 10, he throws a dot to square white. But on second and 10, as you can see, he throws a another dot but he drops the ball it's now 35 42 we're losing and their defense is just going insane bill can't get anything started the receivers are dropping the ball on first and 10 he tries to put matters in his own hands and he will get rallied by the whole team but on first and goal bill rolls out of that pocket and will going for six it's now 42 42 but they drive back down and win the conference championship game things did not go our way but it's all right so that being said bill bumbaruski will win heisman but he kind of has a hard decision to make. He doesn't know if he want to go back for his senior year or go to the NFL draft. Bill Bumbaruski, a quarterback that never think he would be in the position he is now. After UTSA, transferring to Tennessee Vols was the best thing that he ever did. After Bill absolutely won Heisman two years in a row, we absolutely got to get revenge on losing the national championship to Texas A&M. But this is the senior season. Let's get into it. In the first game of his senior season, Bill is going against UAB. And he started off intense with a touchdown to his receiver but he rolls out of that pocket, runs the ball, absolutely made defenders miss and got the first down. But going into the next play, he throws another dot to Davis and he gets up that field. And being ranked number 18 coming off of the gate, we are already going to be a team that's looked at that's already good. And on first and 10, I throw a dot to Webb and he will break a tackle but then get brought down. But Bill has defenders on his back and he will not be stopped. Just look at that throwing that deliberation to the wide receiver. He goes in for six. On first and goal, he gets hit so they got it. But it's 35 to 14 and I see an out route so I throw it and Leelock goes in for six but I see a streak too he goes in for six and we are not playing with these boys but Bill rolls out of the pocket and bam oh my god at this moment he knew boom and this was the end effect of him on the ground twitching asking for help and I'm not gonna lie he got up and said what happened Bill got up and said I bring you clean smack over but Bill throws another touchdown he gets player the game in his first game with eight total TDs going into our next game against number 18 Oklahoma as you can see we dropped down the ranks to number 17 which is amazing and Bill Bomaruski absolutely threw a 40-yard dot and broke the school passing yard record already on Peyton Manning's record. And that's how you know he's going to be the number one pick in this draft. But driving down the field on first and 10, bam, get out of the way and walk in the end zone like no one was there. But on second and seven, I had a read option. It was too slow to kind of outrun this defender. So he got shoot streaming and then absolutely got sacked the next play. But Bill said, I'm not going to be stopped. I was in that film room. Oh, 
all week and ooh, 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 I promise you, Juke Juke, y'all are not going to stop me. But doing absolutely a little bit too much, he fumbles the ball and they recover and Bill is kind of in his head. So on first and 10, dropping back every single defender got free. So I said, Coach, man, if they don't block for me one more time, I promise you I'm going to walk off that field like Antonio Brown did. But on third and 14, Bill throws an interception and he was kind of mad. So he said, I'm going to go get him. <laughs> and he didn't get him. But on first and 10, he rolls out of the pocket and gets sacked again. And I'm not going to lie, he absolutely disrespected Bill. He put his knee over his head. With Bill being short all of his life, he absolutely fights adversity. So the next play, he throws a dot to his receiver, then throws a touchdown, then goes on second to 10 and gets sacked. He was pissed off. I'm not going to lie. But he ends the game off with three total TDs. Going into our next game against LSU, started off in 10. Throwing it to receiver Green Jr. for a 23 hour reception. And then on second and 10, thought I had him burnt, but the defender was all over it. I threw it to Lee Lock, then drove down the field and absolutely threw an interception. What is going on? After absolutely having a great start, then throwing another interception, things are going to go downhill this game. I can already feel it. But Bill was kind of in his head, and he was pissed off. And on first and 10, he throws another interception. And this is going to be the third one of the game. And on first and 10, he throws a dot. He said, you think I'm going to give up? Squirrel White will go all the way for six. And guess what? I will find my other receiver on that right side. We, we could do it both ways, my brother. But on second and 14, the D-line was coming, and they sacked me on the goal line but we drive down the field and on first and 10 we still convert we are not going to give up and on first and go he goes up oh my god this kid is crazy but we still go on and lose the ball game and he ends the game off with six total tds on to our next game against the florida gators on first and 15 i thought my receiver had him burnt but this defender was all over it. and on first and 10 i throw a dot to webb and he will absolutely break one tackle well no he's stiff arming his way up that field but with the gators already being up by seven bill said he wanted one too so he will strike and on first and 10 he throws it to his wide receiver he will go in for Four, six, but no, no, no. It's offensive pass interference. So we have to strike back and we score again. But going into the next play on first and 10, Bill said, I'm going to lower my shoulder on anyone. And he lowers it and said, get off of me, son. And gets closer to that end zone. On first and 10, he throws a dot to Lee Lock and he goes in for six. And on second and eight, oh my God, Squirrel White will go all the way for six. Absolutely taking the lead in the third quarter. We score again. And on first and 15, throw another dot. We are tired of losing. And I throw another dot to Samson. Oh, my God, Bill is going insane. He gets where the game with eight total TDs. On first and 10, oh, my God, Major Miss Kid catch up. Going into our next game against the number two, Georgia. Oh, my God, Bill Bumba Ruski had a strike of speed, and will they catch him? No, they will not. And he was fired up with his teammates. And putting that ball on the ground, Bill was having success at Juke Juke. Oh, my God, making two defenders miss, but he does absolutely too much. Got boomed and fumbled the ball. But on second and 10, getting the ball back, he absolutely threw a dive, then fumbled while getting thrown out of bounds again, and they will work. Recovery. Coach said, hey, man, your biggest problem is holding that ball. You're too good for that. But absolutely throwing dots into the end zone. We were absolutely making our way back to that lead. But it's 35 to 21. And I throw a dot to square white. And that was 28, 35. And I got Bim. Oh, my God. It was one on one. Oklahoma and Bill Bumbarewski won it. He absolutely throws a dot. We still going to lose 45 to 41. But there was one thing going into our next game. Bill absolutely got hurt, broke his ribs and was out for the season. So dropping the comments down below will he get drafted or would this be the end of his career